This video is a tutorial sheet on frequency response. So the purpose of this video is to provide students with a number of examples they can use to test their own understanding. What you should be doing is pausing the video once you've read the question and trying the questions by yourself. Only look at the solutions once you've made a proper attempt, otherwise this video will not have much purpose. Now, we would suggest the method you use is to find the expressions for each factor separately and then combine them. And this is covered in the previous two videos, so we're going to assume that you are familiar with those. The question then. Find the frequency response expressions for the following transfer functions. You'll see there's eight of them. So what you need to do now is pause this video while you try them and I will go through each in turn. So first example. Now what I'm going to do, because I like to keep my polynomials in monic form, is first of all multiply by 0. sorry by 2.5 to give 0. 0.5 over 2.5 plus s because that allows me to use my simple expressions which I've derived before. Now from here you can write the gain by inspection so the modulus of g of j omega is going to be 0.5 over the square root of 2.5 squared plus omega squared. And the argument of g of j omega is going to be minus 10 to the minus 1 of omega over 2.5. For me personally, I would not expect students to have to justify those solutions. I would treat them as being obvious. Next question then. So again, if you use the techniques discussed in the previous few videos, you can write the answers down by inspection. So the modulus of g of j omega is going to be 0 0.4 into the square root of omega squared plus 1 divided by the square root of omega squared plus 4 squared into the square root of omega squared plus 2 squared. And the argument of g of j omega is going to be 10 to the minus 1 of omega minus 10 to the minus 1 omega over 4 minus 10 to the minus 1 omega over 2. Next one. Now, this one looks a bit more complicated. And just a warning, notice there's a minus sign there, which we'll have to deal with at some point. So first of all, I'll do the modulus of g. And the modulus is going to be 3, and then you've got the square root of omega squared plus 6 squared, and then divided by the square root of omega squared plus 10 squared into the square root of omega squared plus 1, into the square root of omega squared plus 3 squared, into the square root of omega squared plus 4 squared. And you might be tempted to combine all these square roots, but in the long term, it is better to keep them separate. It gives more insight. Now, the argument, I'm going to have to first of all add a minus 180 to deal with that minus sign. And then I've got plus 10 to the minus 1 of omega over 6, and then minus 10 to the minus 1 omega over 10, minus 10 to the minus 1 omega minus 10 to the minus 1 omega over 3 minus 10 to the minus 1 omega over 4. And again, I would be quite happy if you wrote these down by inspection because it is simple. What about this one? You'll notice the difference here is there's an integrator, but otherwise there's no particular tricks. So the modulus of g is going to be 5 over omega, the omega for the s, into the root of omega squared plus 1. And the argument of g is going to be minus 90, that's for the s, minus 10 to the minus 1 of omega. Now, this one we've introduced a right half plane factor, so I need to be a little bit careful. So I'm going to write 1 minus j omega is my right half plane factor, and I'm going to do my little sketch just to make sure that I do the calculation correctly. So the argument of 1 minus j omega is minus 10 to the minus 1 of omega. 
So that's my little thinking balloon to make sure I don't make silly mistakes. So if I do the argument first as I'm focusing on that, so the argument of g therefore is going to be minus 10 to the minus 1 of omega, that's for the numerator, minus 10 to the minus 1 omega over 4, minus 10 to the minus 1 omega over 2. And for the modulus, this is always straightforward, so I've got 8 into the square root of omega squared plus 1 over the square root of omega squared plus 4 squared into the square root of omega squared plus 2 squared. Next one. Again, you'll see I've got a right half plane factor, so I need to be careful and do my little sketch so I don't make a silly mistake. So you'll notice here we've got this sort of argument. So the argument of j omega minus 4 is going to be 180 minus 10 to the minus 1 of omega over 4. So I'll separate off that little thinking balloon which I've done to make sure I don't make silly mistakes. So now I can write down by inspection that the argument of g is going to be 10 to the minus 1 omega over 2, that's from the numerator, minus 90, that's from the s, minus 10 to the minus 1 omega over 10, minus 10 to the minus 1 of omega, and then minus 180 minus 10 to the minus 1 omega over 4, which is from the s minus 4. And the modulus of g is going to be 2 into the square root of omega squared plus 2 squared divided by omega into the square root of omega squared plus 10 squared into the square root of omega squared plus 1 into the square root of omega squared plus 4 squared. <laughs> Next one then. So I've got an s plus 2 and now I've got a double integrator but that should not phase me particularly. So I can write down by inspection the modulus of d is the square root of omega squared plus 4 divided by omega squared, that's for the s squared, into the root of omega squared plus 1. And for the phase, I can write down 10 to the minus 1 omega over 2, minus 180, that's for the s squared, minus 10 to the minus 1 of omega. Next one, s plus 5 over s, s plus 2 squared. So again, this one's straightforward. The modulus of g, you're going to get the square root of omega squared plus 5 squared divided by an omega, that's for the s. And then, because you've got an s plus 2 squared, and the square roots will come out, you will end up with omega squared plus 2 squared. And with the modulus of, sorry, the argument of g, we're going to get 10 to the minus 1 of omega over 5, minus 90 for the s, and minus 2 times 10 to the minus 1 omega over 2.